In this video, I want to spend a couple quick minutes and talk about changes to Google's mapping API and how that might affect your starter solution that comes as part of your FileMaker installation. Now, helping me today is Art. Hi, guys. My name is Art Savi, and I'm one of the engineers here at RC Consulting. Yep. Art's very modest. He's one of the uh, hot shots we have here, and we're very happy to have him on the video with us. And the issue that came up about the middle of 2018 is the fact that Google is requiring that people who use their mapping services, or really most of any of their services, actually identify themselves, and they're not anonymous. And so historically, if you played with Google Mapping and FileMaker, the maps would show up in FileMaker, and as long as you didn't abuse it and you used them only a handful of times during the day, no one really cared. However, that changed in mid-2018 because Google is requiring each user to uniquely identify themselves. So Art, what does this mean for us? That means that we have to make a couple of changes to our solutions that rely on Google Maps. And we have to update them to include the API key you mentioned. In order to get the API key, you have to sign up as a Google Cloud developer. And we actually shot another video where I walk everybody through that particular setup and how to get that API key. I also go through very lightly what the trial period is of the developer account. And again, that's all in a separate video that we will link to here. The short version, I think, is that light use or moderate use of the mapping is going to be either free or very low cost. However, if you have a large trucking company and everyone's using mapping continuously, then you might have a bill that you have to pay from month to month for those services. Correct. The pricing can vary, obviously, depending on how much you use it. For most people, they're probably not going to run up a bill. But for those that are using it very heavily, let's say for people making deliveries, uh, mapping out routes, you're probably going to end up paying something to Google. And that is going to be dependent on how much you use it, how many times per day, how many times per month. That all goes into their cost. And they have a really nice price calculator on their website that you can kind of play around with to gauge how much you might use it and how much that might cost you. So if you want to know how to do that, check out our other installation video with a link that's down in the description. So let's go ahead and fast forward and pretend that we have our Google API key, which is a unique string of characters that's specific to our company. How do we fix the map? In order to fix the map here in the contact starter solution, we have to modify a custom function. If you are familiar with custom functions, you can find the option here under File, Manage, Custom Functions. If you don't see that option and you have FileMaker 17, you can go into the Preferences and activate it with the checkbox here. Once you click that checkbox, you hit OK and you restart FileMaker Pro Advance and you will then have the option for Custom Functions. If you have a previous version of FileMaker, you need to have a copy of Pro Advance for this option to be here. Once you're there, open it up, and we are going to edit the custom function get map. So we open this guy up, you can double click on it and it'll pop right up. And here in the calculation, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. And the part that we're going to modify is this bit right here at the end. We're going to add on another part to this, and essentially it's going to be an ampersand, the word key, and then equals, and whatever your API key is, you're going to copy it from the developer dashboard on Google's website, and you're going to paste it right here. And so I already have mine on my clipboard, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste that there, and we're just going to hit OK. And we're going to hit OK again. And now that we've done that, if we refresh this page, the map now loads correct. So that's how to update your copy of FileMaker's Contact Starter Solution. And I know a lot of people modify the Contact Starter Solution and use it for other projects. So you're going to need to employ this fix or something similar in those other solutions as well. If you're using a copy of our free FileMaker CRM called FM Starting Point, we have a separate video that covers how to implement the fixes there. We use maps a little bit more deeply there, frankly, a little more seriously. 
And as a result, there's a couple more changes we need to make there as well. So you can check out a link for that video down below as well. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Art and our coaching team at support at RC Consulting, and we'll catch you in the next video.